the Do Better Podcast. I am your host, Theodore Cooper. We are back with another video. This time from Corey Holcomb. And on this episode, Corey says that all American women are prostitutes of some sort. His words, not mine. Let's get to it. I mean, like, can I ask you a question, Darlene? Sure. Who in this world, female in America, ain't a hooker? I'm not, I wouldn't consider myself no hooker of any kind. What are you talking about? Are you out of your rabbit ass mind? Uh, to Star you, man. to you, all kinds of people, especially women, are out of their whatever minds, like you say. Darlene, to you, all why kinds are of women people. so unwilling to embrace being a hooker? Oh, God. That's right, because you are so quick to, to admit that you're a trick, so, well, you know. I mean, I'm saying it's like women got to stop being embarrassed to admit they're hookers. You <laughs> sell pussy. Some, they want a movie, so you a popcorn pussy passing out her. Yeah. Uh, right, or, 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 or they want parts. They want to be, they wanna be in a movie. I think there's people like well, that. Back that to this hooker shit. Uh, of course. Who not a hooker? Everybody, everybody is out here trying to avoid calling women hookers. We live in America. There's not a lot of women who sleep with men for only love. Show Great me point. where they at. Let me tell you something. He I did. had, I, I, okay, a bitch stop fucking with me, all right? Uh-oh, here we go with his mess. A bitch stop fucking with me. <laughs> and I was like, damn, my bitch gone. But one thing about Corey, bitches always come back to me because I'm a trick. They always try to make <laughs> it on their own. And then when they find out how cold the world is, you get that text, you been all right, Corey? Ah, oh, yeah, bitch. The world destroyed you. Now bring that ragged ass monkey over here so I can give you a couple of dollars for it. Oh, my Lord. What? <laughs> all of them. All of them. Them bitches don't never leave me. I'm a trick. Them bitches are hookers. The best of them. Church bitches. Revolutionary bitches. Bitches who eat healthy but put my dick in them. I can't understand it. Oh, oh, oh. oh my God. Bitch telling me I got to get my motherfucking weight together. Bitch, yo pussy in danger. You got to get a shot pork in them. <laughs> Yo, Popeyes. You, you done put sweat in the bitch, boy. Yo, your... Love that nigga from Popeyes. <laughs> Bitches Woo. got to ride you, or they gonna motherfucking need their hair washed. That <laughs> fucking with your wet ass. Oh, Lordy, Lordy. <laughs> See, I think they're criminals. Say it again, Craig. I think they're not prostitute. A prostitute ain't a criminal. A prostitute is a woman that helps a man get She's the job working. done. A prostitute is a criminal out here in America because yeah. they don't want these women to get on their feet. Yeah, but I think they, I think they more like robbers and jackers. Pussy ain't nothing but a long term robbery. Take me out, robbery. I'm not happy to do something new, robbery. I want to go on vacation, robbery. Pussy ain't nothing but a long term robbery. <laughs> It's a meat pocket pistol. It just don't oh. have no handle coming out of it. If it had a hand, if the pussy had a handle hanging out of it, we would look at it like a weapon. Wow. Mm. Can a you trigger. argue with that? <laughs> Put a trigger on your pussy. Can you argue with what the brother said? <laughs> Real he, he had a lot of shit to bag up what he said. That wasn't no one sentence. That motherfucker said, v vagina is weaponized in the Western world. Definitely. I mean, really, like, I'm saying, like, I will get, you know, it's easy to say Corey Hogan, a bad guy, but come on. What is your pussy really worth? I'm talking to you. What is your pussy worth? <laughs> your pussy ain't shit. Look how many motherfuckers done had it. Every man you fuck takes you away from the one that was meant for you. <laughs> bang! Bang! It's good! Uh-oh. <laughs> the average woman in America... At least 20 dicks. Come on now. <laughs> Who you know ain't had 20 dicks up in? That's giving them benefit. I'm talking about it. like right. I'm talking about like a woman that's about 35 and older. Oh yeah. I can't speak for the girls who You give them benefit of the doubt, boy, to my 20 boy. That's what I'm saying. Oh Lord. It's more than 20, ain't it? Hell yeah. Five a year. Of course. Marcus is gonna agree if with you. If you do that from 18. Man, I talk, I ain't fuck with bitches. I fuck with a lot of bitches. The majority of them for full 30. They they match the age. The first thing Darlene said, Marcus is going to agree with you. Darlene, 
Body counts are so embarrassing if women really speak from the heart. Because they don't know their body count. Most right. of them don't know their body count. Right. They lie. But like, if you ask a woman, can you honestly say is your body count over 40? They who do, okay, here's my thing in the first place. Who does that? Like, Who does what? Wants to know. You're the one. It's like a little sicko thing, like, oh, body I want to know what a woman's body count is because I want to know what kind of woman I'm around. And you're going to. Whether I'm fucking her or not. I could ask my daughter's teacher, what's your body count? But no, no, you wouldn't. How the fuck you teaching math and you didn't add over 50 dicks up in there? Real quick, I'll just give you guys my thoughts overall on the whole body count discussion. Does body count matter? Absolutely, it matters. But also at the same time, I kind of feel that it's a mute argument. And hear me out for a second. I think it's a mute point because the majority of women are not going to be honest about how many dicks they've taken. If they actually are honest with you and give you the real number, how many men are actually going to be okay with it? Unless you're like dude number one or two with the most. Body count does matter, but women are, will never be honest about that. You're yeah. always going to be not. Yeah. You're going to believe whatever you want to believe. So what's the point? What do you mean you believe know, whatever you, you want to believe? You just said they all lie. So again, if somebody were to tell you, Darlene, truth. what's your body count? I don't go there with you in the first place, and you wouldn't believe it. Have you reached? He your always. Age? And I'm you not, had. To, I don't have to, I'm not talking like that. You had to put that iPhone on calculator mode. <laughs> oh, stop! Whatever. In your eyes and your vision or you whatever it is. One of you. I don't talk about stuff like that. It doesn't make any sense. To who? I don't care which. You don't well, care which one. Did you stop counting? Then? I don't. A I don't care to hear that. A woman knowing what, her body what, count. What purpose is that? For what? You asking questions from questions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a suspect well, thing. No, because you already good. said they all lie. I so tell you why, the, why it's good. What's the point of D telling you? got more you? bodies than Jason Boy. Here. <laughs> <Whatever>. <laughs> I tell you why it's good. It lets you know if your woman's smart, because if she know her body count, that means she know history and math. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Lord. laughs> Angela Duncan, I see you. What's your body count? Silly. Chat exactly. Room, dude. won't believe you anyway. It doesn't matter. Bitches don't, most bitches don't answer because they don't know. They, they don't know. And, and another answer. It's too shameful to even try to figure yeah. it out. They stop counting after 70. Yeah. Yeah. 70, you damn yeah, right. Yeah. 51, 50, chilling, pimp. And they, they do know, though. They remember everything else. They you, what? I said they remember every goddamn thing else. Exactly. There's no way. Women exactly. can keep up with their body count after they get past 30. There's right. no way she can keep up with it. They stop counting, sir. You guys let me know in the chat. What do you guys think? Do you think women just lie about their body counts in general or that they've lost track? You guys let me know. No, they, you mean they omit and lie? Yeah. Whatever yours is, add 50 to it. That's the average woman. <laughs> but also sometimes, Marcus, if you're not any good, they don't even, you don't count. See what I'm saying? If you're not yep. good in bed, it I'm don't count. I'm just playing with you. I knew you were going to grab that. A woman's that. pussy don't so wake you're not, up to so you're not, you're not 50 in, in dicks anyway. Lineup, Marcus. It's okay. <laughs> what did he say? He said a woman's pussy don't wake up to 50 dicks anyway. What's Marcus talking Okay, that's a good it. point. But what did yeah. she say to Marcus? She said, she said I, said, I ain't don't worry, Marcus. You're count. not in anybody's body count. It didn't count. They who? It didn't count. She said I ain't in nobody's body count. Because I said they don't count. They don't count for a lot of these. She said you ain't in nobody's body count. We got a brother I would love to ask this question to. He be quiet. That's a grown yeah. man. He can handle. He is wise beyond his oh, years. Oh, I already know he, this. He's going to do a karate demonstration for us today, too. You got it? <laughs> hey, man, can we get my brother Chell on up here? Let's knock this out. Cause, and we're going to jump him right in into the bullshit. They gonna say they say they gonna name D pussy after a cemetery. Oh man. <laughs> okay, Hello, sir. brother hey. Riza Islam in the house. <laughs> The sex, yeah. sexy as hell in motherfucking the harem. You walked into it, bro. What did I walk into this time? We need to know, does a woman's body count matter when it comes to even friendship? Even friendship. Does her body count matter? Oh, now here we go. When it comes to just being friend of a generous womb woman, does that interfere with the friendship? The less you go around, the better your quality will be, male or female. There you go. Male? Dirty. 
Right. Now, biochemically, <laughs> for females, you really don't want to go around as much as a male because you maintain fix that shit. You maintain all of the, uh, I would say, parts of the biology from the males uh, inside of your body. Uh -huh. Pants dicks don't yeah. leave. Wow. Yeah. But also, but also, off, but but also a male that sleeps around a lot carries all that dead, the souls of like, oh, what yeah. is it that, yeah. That energy. That energy. The energy exchange. So, but Dr. Dr. Francis uh, Crush says that, you know, there's a thing called the white genetic survival theory. That white people fear that we can eradicate them through breeding. That's a fact. So, me, I, I started my own militia of, <laughs> <laughs> of black warrior class, <laughs> and we thrash white bitches for the call. Craig's funny, bro. As I said before, I think the thing with the body count is it obviously is important. The majority of men don't want to be with a woman who's the town whore. That's just kind of a common sense thing. That's just the way men are programmed. As I said in the video, like the, the woman actually telling you the truth in this situation. And if she did tell you the truth, would you guys believe her? Then also let me know, do you guys think the majority of American women are three or foes as Mr. Hokum alluded to? I would love to hear you guys' comments because what the hell do I know? I'm just a weed head talking on YouTube. You guys let me know what you think after party in the comments. Maybe Steve or Cooper, but you can call me bitch. Two better squad. All out. Uh, excuse me, bitches?